hello and welcome you all uh, in our uh, next video so in our previous video we have uh, uh, started operations related to matrices and uh, we have uh, uh, covered uh, addition of two matrices and uh, uh, subtraction of two matrices so today uh, we are going to uh, cover a topic uh, multiplication of uh, two matrices suppose we have two matrices a and b okay uh, matrix a uh, of order m by n and another matrix b uh, which have order n by p and we want to uh, multiply these uh, two matrices okay a and b so uh, uh, what uh, we have uh, studied in previous classes that uh, always uh, addition is not possible or always subtraction is not possible only when uh, two matrices have same size or same order only then we can add uh, matrices or uh, subtract matrices oh, okay so here uh, if two matrices we want to multiply two matrices so here also we have a, a, a compatibility test okay so first we will check uh, uh, first we will check uh, whether uh, suppose we want to uh, uh, get the product of a into b first a and then b a b okay so here we have to see uh, uh, sum of uh, sorry uh, a so here we have to see a uh, number of columns in a must be equal to number of uh, row in b okay so if if number of number of columns number of columns in a equal to number of a row number of a row in b okay number of uh, rows in b okay only then if a number of uh, columns in a is equal to number of uh, rows in b only then a matrix multiplication of a into b is possible or ab is possible okay if a uh, number of uh, columns in matrix a is not equal to number of rows in b then this product ab is uh, not possible for the uh, matrices a and b okay so uh, first we will check whether we can uh, multiply these two a into b or not so we will check whether a uh, number of columns in first matrix is equal to number of a row in second matrix okay so what will be the order of a b if a have order m by n and b have order n by p so what will be the order of a b okay so order of a b will be uh, and we want to calculate a b so the order of a b will be here the order of a is m by n and the order of b is n by p so basically this n will get cancel only this m will remain and this p will remain okay so the order of this ab order of ab will be m by p okay m by p m by p so order of ab will be m by p and this n will get uh, cancel okay so finally we will get uh, product of ab uh, which have m number of a row and n num uh, p number of uh, columns okay so uh, this is the uh, first uh, uh, first uh, step of uh, getting a product of two matrices a and b uh, and second how we will multiply uh, we will multiply uh, row with column okay now we will multiply multiply row of matrix a matrix a with column of column of matrix b matrix b okay so first row of a will uh, first row of a uh, we will multiply it with uh, b and uh, 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 numbers of uh, uh, row of uh, first row of a uh, will get multiplied with uh, first row of uh, first column of b and the uh, numbers we will get after multiplying we will add that numbers and then uh, that will be the product of uh, that will be the uh, number of a11 a11 okay first uh, row first uh, column uh, will give us a uh, 11 one, one, okay a11 one, one. and uh, product of uh, first row with uh, second column will give us a12 okay product of first row uh, first row suppose uh, in general we want to multiply ith row ith row of a with uh, jth column jth column of b 
कॉलम ऑफ बी सो वी विल गेट सी आई जे सपोज मैट्रिक्स ए बी हैव एलिमेंट सी एंड दिस विल बी सी आई जे द पोजिशन ऑफ द एलिमेंट विल बी सी आई जे एंड वी ऑल नो दैट ऑर्डर ऑफ ए बी इज एम बाई पी सो दिस मैट्रिक्स विल बी एम बाई पी ओके सो इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई आई थ्रू एंड जे कॉलम वी विल गेट सी आई जे एंड दिस होल ए बी कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म एज सी आई जे एम बाई पी ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिकली द स्टेप ऑफ गेटिंग प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू मेट्रिस फर्स्ट वी विल चेक वेदर वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई ए बी और नॉट एंड देन वी विल डू दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू मेट्रिस ओके सो आई होप इट इज क्लियर एंड नाउ वी विल सी इट थ्रू एन एग्जाम्पल सो दैट वी गेट मोर क्लियर क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट इट ओके सो हियर वी हैव रिटर्न एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए इज वन टू माइनस टू वन एंड बी इज टू वन ओके सो इफ वी हैव टू मेट्रिस ए एंड बी एंड वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट ए बी सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी विल डू मल्टीप्लीकेशन ओके सो हियर द ऑर्डर ऑफ ए मेट्रिक्स इज अ टू बाई टू एंड द ऑर्डर ऑफ बी मेट्रिक्स इज अ टू बाई वन ओके टू बाई वन नाउ कैन वी मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू मेट्रिक ए एंड बी वी विल चेक ओके सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट ए बी प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए विद बी सो द नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इन ए मस्ट बी इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ रो इन बी हियर द नंबर ऑफ कॉलम इन ए ओके नंबर ऑफ कॉलम नंबर ऑफ कॉलम इन ए इज टू फर्स्ट कॉलम सेकेंड कॉलम ओके एंड नंबर ऑफ रोज नंबर ऑफ रोज इन बी नंबर ऑफ रोज इन बी इज नंबर ऑफ रोज इन बी इज फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड रो टोटल टू रोज ओके सो हियर नंबर ऑफ कॉलम इन ए इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ रोज इन बी दैट मीन्स वी कैन इजिली मल्टीप्लाई दिस मेट्रिक्स ए विद बी ओके सो वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस ए एंड बी नाउ क्वेश्चन इज वट विल बी द ऑर्डर ऑफ ए बी सो ऑर्डर ऑफ ए बी विल बी ऑर्डर ऑफ ए इज टू बाई टू एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ बी इज टू बाई वन सो दिस टू विल गेट कैंसल एंड फाइनली वी विल गेट द ऑर्डर ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस ए बी एज टू बाई वन ओके सो वी गॉट द आइडिया दैट दैट ए बी विल कंटेन टू नंबर ऑफ रो एंड वन कॉलम दैट मीन्स दैट ए बी विल लुक लाइक दिस मैट्रिक्स okay so uh, we are going to uh, uh, pr- uh, next we are going to uh, multiply this a with b okay uh, so a with b will be we want to calculate ab so write down the uh, uh, a value of a and a is a is 1 2 minus 2 1 वन टू माइनस टू वन एंड राइट डाउन द वैल्यू ऑफ बी द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज टू वन टू वन ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी विल फर्स्ट वी विल चेक नंबर ऑफ रोज इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ सॉरी नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ रो नाउ वी विल मल्टीप्लाई रो विद कॉलम रो विद कॉलम हियर वी आर टेकिंग फर्स्ट रो and we want to uh, uh, get the product so we will uh, multiply this first row with this uh, first column okay so this element will be multiplied with this element and this two uh, will be multiplied by uh, this element okay so we will get we will get 1 into 2 1 into 2 plus in between uh, two uh, multiplication there will be plus sign 2 into 1 this 2 into 1 will be 2 into 1 okay so this is our uh, first row first uh, column so this will be our a11 product okay 11 positions number okay now uh, first row with first column multiplied now we will uh, multiply this uh, second row with uh, that first uh, first column okay so now uh, we are going to multiply uh, this uh, second row Uh, with uh, this uh, first uh, column okay 
so this minus 2 will get uh, multiply with this 2 minus 2 with uh, 2 will give a uh, minus 2 into 2 now in between a uh, plus sign 1 into 1 will uh, give us a 1 into 1 as 1 okay now uh, second row is multiplied with uh, first column for, uh, and first we multiplied first row with first column so this will be the uh, matrix uh, which will uh, be uh, we will found after multiplying a and b now uh, simply uh, write down the product and addition of these uh, operations so here we will get 2 into 1 2 here we will get 2 into 1 2 so this will be a 2 plus 2 and here we will get a minus 2 into 2 that is minus 4 and uh, plus 1 into 1 that is a 1 okay so we will get uh, a matrix as 2 plus 2 4 and minus 4 plus 1 as minus 3 so the product of a and b will be a matrix of order 2 by 1 and uh, that matrix will be uh, this okay so answer of this product a b is 4 minus 3 uh, this okay now we are going to see uh, whether we can multiply this b with a or not we are uh, first we go, uh, got the value of a into b now we are going to multiply b with a we are going to multiply a b matrix with a okay so matrix b is here as a 2 1 matrix b is a 2 1 and we want to multiply this b uh, with a matrix and matrix a is a 1 2 minus 2 a 1 we will not multiply until we will uh, we cannot uh, find that this is compatible to multiplication uh, for multiplication okay so here we will check whether uh, this product a b a is possible or not okay so uh, possibility or confirmed uh, uh, compatibility uh, criteria we will apply here and the comp uh, compatibility uh, test is uh, uh, for this product b a possible uh, uh, number of columns in b number of columns in b must be equal to number of a row in a okay number of uh, columns in first matrix must be equal to number of row in a second matrix okay so here number of columns in first matrix that is b here uh, number of columns is one and number of rows in a number of rows number of rows in b uh, is number of columns in a is one number sorry here it will be a uh, b because in first matrix this is b so a number of uh, a number of rows in second matrix that is a so number of rows in a is a uh, two okay so uh, number of columns in B is uh, not equal to number of rows in A. That is here it is 1, it is, here it is 2. So if these two quantities in, uh, is not equal, then we cannot, uh, get, uh, cannot multiply this B with A. That is uh, B A, multiplication of B with A is not possible, is not possible. Okay, this is a uh, not possible. So here we got an important uh, information that uh, for uh, multiplication of two numbers, if we multiply two numbers, uh, suppose the uh, number is first number is two and second number is four, and we will get the product as two into four as eight. Okay, and if we change the sequence of uh, numbers, first we will write four and then we write two. Uh, then we will get 8 okay no problem uh, whether we multiply 2 with 4 or we multiply 4 with 2 we will get answer 8 okay but in case of uh, matrices uh, matrices is a uh, matrices is something uh, different mathematics as compared to uh, numbers okay so here we got the value of a uh, product a with b as uh, this matrix okay and we got the value of uh, b with a and we seen that uh, this b with a is uh, not possible okay here uh, a b is a possible b but b is not possible so that means uh, this a b is not equal to b a in case of matrices we cannot say a b will be equal to uh, b a that is matrix multiplication is not commutative okay so we have seen that a b is not equal to b a and if this is uh, happening so we can say that matrix multiplication is a not commutative matrix multiplication multiplication is not commutative is not commutative okay 
so we got an important information of a matrix multiplication so uh, in uh, this uh, for particular this problem ab uh, is possible but ba is not possible uh, for some cases ab is also possible and ba is also possible but the value of uh, matrix ab will be some different matrix and value of uh, matrix ba uh, will give us uh, some different matrix okay so uh, this will uh, happen because uh, matrix uh, multiplication is uh, not commutative commutative means if we uh, change the uh, positions of uh, that particular matrices we uh, first uh, make first positions matrix uh, second uh, position and uh, uh, first uh, second positions matrix uh, uh, as a first uh, position so that is called commutative okay so next we will see uh, one more example of uh, matrix multiplication one more example uh, that is uh, matrix if matrix a is this and matrix b is uh, this matrix and c is uh, this matrix okay so here all a b and c have ordered two by 2 and we want to uh, see what will be the product of a with b and that product with c okay so we can calculate a b c uh, by calculating first calculating a b and then uh, multiply this a b uh, with matrix c or we can calculate this a b c uh, by first calculate b into c and the matrix we will get after multiplying b and c uh, multiply that matrix with a okay and we have to pay attention that we have to put a matrix first and then uh, b c matrix uh, uh, next to it okay and here uh, we will uh, first write a b uh, matrix and then we will uh, write uh, c matrix in uh, right side and then we will multiply okay so the product of uh, a b c uh, that uh, we are uh, we are going to calculate by uh, this uh, multiplying a with b and then uh, we, uh, the matrix we will get uh, after multiplying a b uh, then we will multiply that matrix with uh, c okay so first we are going to see what will be the product of so first we are going to see what will be the product of a with b that is a b okay so first we will check whether a b is possible or not okay so a b we want to calculate a b so first we will check number number of columns number of columns in a uh, equal to a number of row in a b if number of columns of a is equal to number of a row in b only then we can multiply this a and b so first check uh, so here number of columns in a is 2 and number of row in b is 2 okay 2 is equal to 2 that is uh, multi matrix multiplication is uh, possible here so write a first okay a is a 1 3 uh, minus 2 0 and B is here a 2 4 2 4 uh, 5 1 5 uh, 1 okay so uh, this is a matrix uh, A and B and we want to calculate AB okay so uh, we will uh, first uh, mark first row and here we will uh, make a line uh, like this in a first column okay that means we are going to multiply this row with this column okay first element will be uh, multiplied with uh, this first element and second element will uh, get multiplied with this second element and we will write that multiplication uh, by adding uh, that two multiplication okay so here the multiplication of this 1 with 2 will be uh, 1 into 2 that is 2 okay multiplication of this 3 with 5 will be 3 into 5 that is 15 15 okay and we will write this uh, multiplication uh, with a plus sign okay 2 plus uh, 15 now uh, this first row is multiplied with uh, this uh, first column now we will uh, multiply this first row uh, with this uh, second column with this second column and we will uh, get uh, element of 1 2 okay 1 2 element we will get now uh, product of this to this will be 1 into 4 1 into 4 that is 4 3 into 1 uh, that is 3 okay and in between we will uh, write plus sign so uh, first row is multiplied with uh, 1 and we got this and first row with um, after multiplication of this second column we got the value of uh, uh, this okay now we will multiply this uh, first row uh, with uh, we will now we will multiply uh, this second row uh, with this uh, first column okay so we will uh, get minus 2 into 2 that is minus 4 and 0 into 5 that is 0 okay and we will write plus sign in between 
now uh, second row is multiplied with uh, uh, first column so we will uh, now multiply first uh, second row with the second column and the element will be 2 2 element and 2 2 element we all know that uh, we will write it here okay so uh, multiplication of this row with this column we will get minus 2 into 4 minus 2 into 4 that is minus 8 and 0 with 1 that is 0 and we will write plus sign in between so finally uh, we will get a uh, matrix as 2 plus 15 as 17 and 4 plus 3 that is 7 minus 4 plus 0 minus 4 minus 8 plus 0 minus 8 okay so this will be the matrix AB uh, okay so this is uh, the answer of uh, product AB but we want to calculate ABC that is uh, we have to multiply uh, this AB matrix with C so we calculated AB matrix now uh, multiply this matrix with C matrix okay so uh, we are going to um, again multiply this uh, AB uh, with C AB with C so write down uh, the value of uh, matrix AB so the value of matrix AB is uh, 17 7 minus 4 minus 8 and write down the value of uh, C matrix so C matrix uh, so first here left side AB so I put uh, left side the value of AB and C is right side so I am putting a value of C uh, right side okay so C matrix is minus 3 4 uh, 6 uh, 0 okay now multiply uh, these two matrices so uh, a matrix multiplication is possible here these uh, two matrices uh, uh, we will uh, can we can multiply these two matrices because number of columns in first matrix is equal to number of row in second matrix okay so now we are going to multiply first row with first column so we will get first row with first column 17 into minus 3 minus 51 okay and 7 with 6 we will get 42 next first row uh, we uh, multiplied with first column now we will uh, multiply first row with second column so we will get 17 into 4 that is uh, 68 and 7 into 0 that is a 0 okay so and next first row is multiplied with the first column and second column now we will uh, multiply second row with first column and second column so second row uh, multiply with uh, this uh, first column so we will get minus 4 into minus 3 that is the plus 12 and minus 8 plus 6 uh, 48 minus 48 okay so minus 48 now uh, we will multiply this second row uh, with the second column so we will get minus 4 into 4 that is minus 16 and minus 8 into 0 that is 0 in between a plus sign okay uh, so we finally uh, we will get the value of uh, product ABC uh, is as uh, minus 51 plus 42 so this will be minus uh, 9 and here we will get 68 here we will get 12 minus 48 okay so this will be minus 36 here we will get minus 16 so this is the answer uh, or uh, product of uh, two three matrices a b and c so this will be the answer of a b c okay so uh, if uh, we have uh, one more uh, suppose uh, uh, pro we wanted to calculate a uh, more uh, number of matrices product of more number of uh, matrices so if there uh, uh, in the question if uh, we have the value of D so and we want to calculate the product of ABC so we calculated value of ABC matrix now we will um, uh, now we will multiply this uh, matrix ABC with this D matrix if it will be uh, it uh, was given in a uh, uh, question okay so uh, uh, we will uh, uh, multiply that in, in that manner okay but uh, question is uh, only for uh, ABC three matrices and we wanted to calculate the product of ABC so the product of ABC will be uh, this okay. okay so now we have uh, one more problem here <coughs> Question is if A is a 2 1 0 1 2 by 2 matrix calculate A cube what will be the value of A cube? So we all know that product of A cube will be product of A cube will be a uh, product of A with A with A and or, or we can say a product of A with A into A A square. 
so that product a is uh, product of uh, a matrix with a square will give us a cube so to calculate a cube first calculate a square and then multiply that a square with a uh, will give us a cube or we can write it as a and a will be a square and multiply that a square with a will give us a cube okay so uh, this is step of calculating a cube uh, okay so now we are going to see what will be the a cube so a is a 2 1 0 1 uh, so we are going to calculate a square and a square will be a into a okay write down a a is a 2 1 a is a 2 1 uh, 0 1 and a again so a is a 2 1 0 1 multiply these two matrices so uh, multiplication here multiplication is possible because a uh, number of columns in a first matrix is equal to number of row in second matrix uh, so that uh, that is why uh, matrix multiplication is possible in this case okay so the product of uh, these two matrices will be multiply this uh, first row this first row with this first column first element multiplied with first element second element with uh, multiplied with second element we will get 2 into 2 that is 4 and 1 into 0 that is 0 and uh, uh, marking plus sign in between okay so first row uh, multiplied with uh, first column we got this now first uh, multiply first row with a second column so we will get 2 into 1 that is 2 1 into 1 that is 1 and add plus sign in between okay uh, so we multiplied first row with first column and then we multiplied first row with second column now multiply second row second row with the first column and second row with second column so first we will multiply second row with uh, first column so this multiplication will give zero multiplication with two will give us zero and one multiplication with zero will give us a zero okay now uh, uh, multiplication uh, multiply this first row with second column so we will get zero into one as zero and one multiplication with one will give us one add plus sign in between so uh, we will get finally as 4 uh, 3 0 1 okay so this will be a square this will be a square but our question is we wanted to calculate a cube so a cube will be product of this a square again with a okay uh, write down that uh, a product whether a with a square or a square with a in that case a cube will be same okay so uh, we are going to multiply this uh, product by uh, this okay uh, a is our a is uh, 2 1 0 1 and a square is a uh, 4 3 uh, 0 1 okay multiply this uh, two matrices product is possible because number of columns here is number of rows in second matrix so we will get first multiply this row with this column we will get uh, 2 into 4 that is uh, 8 and 1 into 0 that will be 0 now uh, multiply this first row with second column we will get 2 into 3 that is 6 and 1 into 1 that is uh, 1 okay so uh, first row uh, got multiplication uh, multiplicated with uh, this first row and uh, first column and second column now uh, multiply this second row with the first column so multiplication of second row with first column give uh, will give us 0 into 4 0 0 1 into 0 that is a 0 okay now uh, multiply this second row with a third uh, second uh, column okay so we will get 0 into 3 that is 0 and 1 into 1 that is a 1 so finally uh, we will get answer as 8 7 0 1 okay so this will be the answer of a cube so uh, we, uh, what we did, uh, did uh, we calculated a square and uh, we multiplied with a with this a square so we got the value of a cube uh, now we want to check whether uh, the same value we will get uh, if we multiply a square with a okay so a square is this and if we multiply this a square with a uh, we want to check whether that value will be same as uh, this matrix so a is a 2 1 2 1 uh, 0 1 okay so product of these two matrices will uh, is possible here because number of columns here is number of row in this matrix okay and we will multiply first row with first column so we will get uh, 4 into 2 that is 8 
3 into 0 that is uh, 0 okay uh, now uh, multiply first row with second column so we will get 4 into 1 as 4 3 into 1 as 3 okay so first row uh, multiplied with first uh, column and second column now multiply second row second row uh, with uh, first column so uh, we will get 0 into 2 2 uh, sorry 0 into 2 0 and 1 into 0 0 okay now multiply first row now multiply first row uh, with second column so we will get a 0 into 1 uh, 0 and 1 into 1 that is 1 so finally we will get answer as 8 7 zero one eight seven zero one uh, which uh, the value we uh, calculated uh, with uh, this formula okay so uh, we got the same value of a cube whether we calculate uh, a into a square or by doing a square into a okay so uh, this type of questions uh, we will uh, do uh, by uh, this concept okay uh, suppose we wanted to calculate a to the power n or uh, n is a number natural number okay so a to the power n will be product of a product of a matrix a n times okay that means if we multiply if we multiply a n times then we will get a to the power n so simple this is the basic uh, formula of calculating a to the power n okay so we will do uh, that question uh, by uh, this concept okay so we all have seen that uh, matrix multiplication is uh, uh, possible only when uh, the number of columns in first matrix is equal to number of rows in second matrix okay and the multi multi matrix multiplication uh, we did uh, by multiplying uh, rows of first matrix with the columns of other uh, second matrix okay so we got the uh, matrix multiplication so next to next topic is uh, matrix polynomial okay matrix polynomial okay so ne uh, we all know that um, polynomial uh, is a equation of a type uh, in algebra we have studied polynomial is a equ uh, equation of, of a type ax to the power n uh, plus uh, uh, or we can write a n to the uh, a n into x to the power n uh, a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 uh, x to the power n minus 2 uh, dot 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 uh, plus uh, uh, constant term a0 okay so this type of uh, equation uh, is basically called as a, a matrix uh, uh, is called as a polynomial okay so here the degree of this polynomial is n uh, highest uh, power of uh, variable is called degree so this is a polynomial of degree n and if we have a polynomial and we want to uh, calculate a, a matrix polynomial uh, by that uh, polynomial so how we will do that so this is a basic uh, standard polynomial equation uh, we are uh, taking we are going to take a uh, uh, simple quadratic uh, simple polynomial uh, that is a linear equation or polynomial equation uh, sorry uh, quadratic equation okay so uh, if we have a matrix a uh, suppose uh, uh, we have a quadratic equation a x to the power n plus uh, sorry a x square plus b x plus c okay so this is our quadratic equation uh, also a type of uh, polynomial and if uh, any value of uh, x uh, suppose value of x equal to alpha and if we put uh, x equal to alpha uh, in this equation and we get the value of ax square plus bx plus c as 0 okay the value of a alpha square plus b alpha plus c uh, uh, becomes 0 so we called it uh, x uh, equal to alpha or we call it alpha as a root of this polynomial or this quadratic equation okay so quadratic root of the quadratic equation is basically means that the value of uh, that x value okay uh, the value of uh, that uh, particular number uh, if we put in the in that quadratic equation the value we will get uh, will be uh, zero okay so basically uh, root means uh, the value of x will satisfy that equation or uh, will get the value of that quadratic equation as zero if we put in place of a variable uh, that value so here alpha is a root of uh, this quadratic equation in the same manner if we have a matrix polynomial okay uh, suppose uh, we want to uh, form a matrix polynomial uh, by uh, this uh, quadratic algebraic uh, quadra uh, 
algebraic uh, quadratic equation okay so uh, suppose a matrix is a and this matrix a this matrix a uh, uh, first we will make uh, this algebraic uh, polynomial as a matrix polynomial so uh, uh, we uh, are assuming uh, variable matrix x capital X and we are going to convert this uh, quadratic as ax square plus bx plus c okay so uh, in place of x uh, we are uh, writing here capital X okay capital X is a basically uh, variable matrix X okay so ax square plus bx plus c uh, is a polynomial uh, so check whether this uh, represents a, a, a matrix or not so ax square ax square x is a matrix so x square will be matrix ax square will be matrix b into x b is a number and x is a matrix so bx will be matrix but c what about c c is a number and we cannot add a number with in a matrix we cannot add matrix with a number okay so basically here we have to take something uh, so that this uh, uh, all three terms uh, become a matrix form or uh, in uh, becomes in matrix form okay so uh, we have studied uh, identity matrix or unit matrix and we all know that identity matrix is a matrix uh, which have all principal elements as one and except that all uh, elements is a zero okay so we will multiply here with i and i have told in previous class uh, i works same in uh, matrices as one works in case of numbers so if we multiply any number with one we get that number n so that in that same manner if we multiply any matrix with this i matrix we get the value of a same matrix that is a into i equal to a okay that's why i have written here c into to i that is a ci and ci will represent now as a matrix okay so here this term is matrix this term is matrix and this term is a matrix so we convert uh, we will convert uh, algebraic uh, polynomial uh, in uh, in uh, uh, matrix polynomial uh, by uh, taking uh, taking a matrix variable x and uh, writing constant term with the uh, identity matrix here the order of this i will be will be same as the order of this x okay suppose this a matrix a is a root of uh, this matrix polynomial okay so th if this a is a root of uh, this matrix polynomial so same case if x is a root of uh, x equal to alpha is a root of uh, this polynomial or this quadratic equation so we got the value of uh, uh, this whole term by after putting x equal to alpha we got this val uh, value of uh, this quadratic equation as zero so in the same manner if x equal to a is a root of this quadratic equation so after putting x equal to a in this quadratic equation we will get the value of this quadratic equation as zero so put here x equal to a and then we will get a a square plus b a plus c i so uh, if order a uh, a is 2 by 2 i will be 2 by 2 so finally if x equal to a is the root of this equation this value must be will be equal to must be equal to a zero okay so if a is the root of a quadratic equation this matrix polynomial then we will get the value of a a square plus b a plus c i as a zero okay so this is the concept of a, a, a polyno matrix polynomial and uh, if it is given that uh, this is a matrix polynomial and uh, prove that a is a um, root of this polynomial so what we will do we will uh, 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 put the value of uh, x in place of x we will put a value of a and if this whole uh, e equation a a square b b square plus c i b a plus c i becomes zero uh, then we can say that x is equal to a is a root of uh, this polynomial okay uh, we have covered whole uh, chapter of uh, matrices and uh, try to solve uh, questions from uh, your exercise and uh, examples and if you have any query uh, just uh, write down in comment below or you can send me uh, through any uh, medium okay so we will meet in next class uh, till then uh, thank you